Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. For the Big Family Homestead. So, Russia warns of nuclear hypersonic deployment of Sweden and Finland join NATO. That's on Reuters. Awesome. Uh, Reuters, if you don't know, is like one of the world's biggest news aggregates. And um, that's what they're reporting. Now, London. I want to... Actually, here's a scoop, folks. She doesn't know a whole lot about this. Nope. I don't read a lot of news. so I do. Mm -hmm. And I generally don't bring things up unless I think it's important to bring things up. Mm -hmm. So first things first, we don't deal with news as fear, running in fear. Oh my gosh, you better Just buy this electric bike or you better buy this thing and if you don't then you'll not blah 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 right it's just to inform you of what's going on just in case you didn't see it which that's what he's doing for me because i didn't see it but i also have questions for you because i is this hot air is this honestly something that we should be not worried about but concerned about so, here is the beginning of the headline. You can look it up for yourself. London, April 14th, Reuters. One of Russia President Vladimir Putin's closest allies warned NATO on Thursday that if Sweden and Finland joined the U.S.-led military alliance, then Russia would deploy nuclear weapons and hypersonic missiles in, Euro in the European enclave. Okay, so... You can read on and on and on. Mm -hmm. This, uh, <laughs> is it saber rattling or is this part of a bigger picture that they thought that Ukraine was going to fall faster than they were and now they feel threatened that they will not be able to get the land grab that Putin had always wanted? And now, as the world has kind of emboldened behind Ukraine, kinda. I mean, think about it. Everybody's kind of like, we don't really want to go in there, but here's some little tiny missiles and stuff. Here's some things that won't really make that big of a difference. Here's some stuff. <laughs> I mean, honestly, no jets. Okay, so here, here's the way I look at this. You can think about it however you want. We'll talk about it. The floor will be open for your input. I'm curious because it seems that, that our society has gotten so polarized <laughs> that a certain section of society says we will be in lockstep with whatever like preppers and um, conservatives would think. And then another side of society would think in lockstep with what the administration would think if they're not sleeping. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, well, it is what it is. It is what it is, mm -hmm. honestly. It's embarrassing. It's the boot fits. If the boot it's mm -hmm. okay um that said your thoughts down below mm -hmm. okay here's this here's what i kind of think have you ever guys ever heard of the fourth turning i've told you mm -hmm. a little bit about this mm -hmm. the fourth turning is here's like the 10 second version of it and you guys can look it up but basically there are uh, about about 80 year cycles that happen in history where something major cataclysmic happens and then this cycle begins again. And what that is, is you've got strong people that deal head on with the challenges. And then when those challenges are dealt with, then there's prosperity for a while. But which then after that- Which weak people. Which creates weak people mm -hmm. after the prosperity. Mm -hmm. Then, then you've got all kinds of problems. And then well, it's a cycle that basically so strong, 
Oh, jeez. You, okay, you, you threw me. So a cataclysmic event creates, not creates, but then strong men. Necessitates. Strong, necessitates men who are strong. And women. Or women and women to rise, rise up occasion. and take care of business. They which do. That, then that is a great time in life. And then that also then creates weak people. Right. Which then leads into to disparity. Disparity and and then it, chaos. And then it and goes back into it. Immoral behavior. And then it, it goes back into goes that back circle. It goes back into that circle. Okay. Then another cataclysmic event happens. Right. So, so that happens, that cycle happens mm -hmm. about every 80 years. And forgive me for remember forgetting the you guys will probably put it down in the comments below. You'll you'll say Blah, blah, blah creates this. Blah, blah, blah creates mm -hmm. that. But yeah. I know you will. Yeah. Um, I'm just drawing a blank. The exact terms, yeah. Yeah. But um, so about 80 years. So 80 years ago, roughly, we had World War II. Mm -hmm. Roughly 80 years before that, what did we have? Civil War. Civil War. Mm -hmm. Roughly 80 years before that, we had the Revolutionary Civil War. War. Mm -hmm. And you can keep going back and back and back. Well, guess what? Roughly 80 years... It's about time for the fourth turning. About 80 years. So, that said, here's another thing that is part of this. Um, whenever there's two sides of a gigantic cataclysmic issue like this, like, let's take World War II. Always the most powerful weapons known to man at that stage are used like um hiroshima mm -hmm. yeah. uh horrible mm -hmm. but now we're here i can't even fathom the idea that russia would be floating the idea that hypersonic and nuclear weapons are completely on the table, not a problem, right. no big deal. If NATO adopts Finland and um, Sweden, Sweden, yeah. to join NATO. Yeah. Now, is that just smoke and mirrors? Is that just saber rattling? Well, here's part of the problem. In this idea of the fourth turning, those most powerful weapons are almost always used. If you go back further than that, yeah, it, it just, it, it's cyclical. Mm -hmm. So now that said, we don't deal in fear. Yeah. You know what, for us, if all of a sudden this video never gets put out because something flashed in the sky and we're vaporized, well, for us, we're at peace because we're with God. Yeah. Right. There is no fear. Right. The things that happen on earth um, don't affect us because if we die, we know where we're going. However, we still have to deal with life here. Right. Of course. They, we do have to do... That's, what I, that's not what I mean. I meant... Yeah. I figured that's why I asked or yeah. kind of pressed it out. Right. right. I knew. Yeah. He I reads, know you, baby. He reads my mind. What am I thinking right now? I want to go and clean the animals' troughs. Yes. It's actually true. It's actually true. <laughs> and it's right snowing. Right before this. Yeah, it's snowing. Middle Ugh. of April. April 14th. Snowing. Snowing. Okay. And nasty wind, too. Oh, yeah, bad. Yeah. Right. Um, that said, we don't deal with fear because... No. What are you going to do? No. We're not changing Putin's mind. It's not like we can go back. Vlad... What the Dude, heck, bro? Come on. What are you doing? Right. Hey, no. Biden. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Anyway. So, I mean, for us, we will have to deal with life here. Of course. If, if things go south, of right. course. And of you course. deal with that. Right. I mean. And you we'll do the best we can to take care of our children and... Our family, and that's what we do. So what do you think? Saber rattling? Or is this part of that attitude in the fourth turning where 
whatever the nastiest weapons we got, that's what's going to get used. I mean, Taiwan is an issue. China's going to see China. this as weakness on part of the administration of the United States, which it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I am not cheering for war. No. Not a war. Oh, of course not. No. 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 No, we do not want that in any way. No, but there were a lot of diplomatic things that could have done, been done a long time ago. Yeah. There's a lot of things that could have been done. That were just not. Or not said. <laughs> yeah, here's what we're not going to do. Here's what we're not going to do. Why don't you just tell them what you are going to do and then... Get over with. Yeah, exactly. get over Exactly. So, I'm curious to see what you think. Mm -hmm. Please keep the comments nice. Yes. That's all. Yeah. Let your voice be heard as long as you're That's being right. nice, they'll mm -hmm. stay. Right. If you're a nasty, wasty skunk... Get out of there. Get out of there. That's right. <laughs> so, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I try not you to. You think, think they're about legit that. or do you think they're just. I think they may be blowing smoke. I really do. I mean, yes, they've used hyper. Well, China. Well, Russia, no. Russia has used hypersonic weapons now. It's been proven. Yes. Yes, they did. And. Nobody even knew until it was already. It was too late. Everybody was, was dead. Just disgusting what happened. Yeah. Um, you know what? They probably will. If they've already done it, what's to stop them from doing it again? Nuclear is different than hypersonic, though. Hypersonic means you don't know until it's too late. The weapons sure. are so fast. Yeah. But why can't they put, and I, and I don't, I'm, they can I'm speaking tip. from ignorance because I have no idea. Can't they put the nuclear yes. on the hypersonic? So... Yeah, they can. What's to stop them from doing that? They can. Yeah. Nothing stopping them. Well, then the question would be, if you nuke the place you're trying to take over, don't you kind of make it unusable for a very long time? Got another Chernobyl on your hands. I think it'd be a lot worse than that. Yeah, well, it would be. It Fallout. Would be. Yeah, it would be. I don't know, guys. And then That's what's that trigger? Does that trigger that, you know, this country goes after that one, that one goes after this one? And then it's like War Games, that Matthew Broderick film from the 80s. Yeah. Want to play a game? Uh -huh. Playing with people's lives here, folks. This is no game. See, I wonder, though, if Vlad is not looking at this as his last chance to get the motherland back together. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. This is why I didn't watch the news. <laughs> I don't blame you, baby. Mm. I'd rather not, but... I know. I'd at least like to know some forewarning. Right. No, I know. I know. There sometimes, it is, folks. Sometimes... Okay, here's, here's honesty, guys. I sometimes enjoy being blissfully ignorant when it comes to politics and but i know i can't i sometimes like it but i can't be that way we can't be that way as a society we have to be aware aware and we can't stick our head in the sand and say it doesn't affect me no we can't do that well so. I guess at the end of the day, for us, it's easy. We pray and we live and exactly. we continue to raise our kids and we work on the garden when mm -hmm. it's not snowing. Right. And we cast our cares upon God and upon Jesus. And, and he'll take care of it. He'll take care of it. Well. That's, he's the ultimate. Got this. I got this. Right. He's the ultimate. Um. We don't have any control over what Putin's going to do. We don't have any control over what Biden's going to do or Zelensky's going to do. We don't. And if we think we do... <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Um, God has got this. All right, your thoughts. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing and blessed day.